Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. Yes, Yonit schools has been started and it's full winter so it's very hard for him to wake up. Actually, not only for him but for me too as I'm also not a person who starts the day so early. But yes, the school, it's important too. Anyways, in today's video, I will be sharing our routine and especially Yonit's routine where he started his full day school and how we continued homeschooling with the school. It's really very hard to wake him up so early. His school starts by 8.45 a.m. and it takes only 5 minutes for us to reach there but I have to wake him up by 7 a.m. as he takes very long time for everything with a very slow process and also I want him to eat something good, healthy and then go to school as of course all the other moms want. At times when he is not actually opening his eyes, I have to switch on the TV as this is the only way left to activate him. The first thing he needs is water. Nowadays, he is watching number blocks in TV much and also getting more interest in numbers, counts and much more as he is learning a lot from these number blocks such as addition, subtraction, counting and much more. And then brush time. I don't give him bath in the morning at times as it's too cold and too difficult to take bath so early. So I try to do this process once he's back home. The next thing we do is have some breakfast. Lunch is given by the school but Yonit is a fuzzy eater. So sometimes he eats in the school and sometimes not. So I prefer to give him at least one fruit and a glass of milk in the breakfast and I don't want to skip it at all because we don't know how much the child will eat in the school and what not. Yes, they give them yummy and healthy food in lunch, but it all depends on child to child. Now, we are noticing a change in Yone that since few days he is taking interest in doing his tasks by his own. Whether it's brushing teeth or wearing his clothes or eating his meal, he is trying for everything. And I think all the need is little bit pushed from our side and that's what we are trying to do, of course. Chalo, jaldi, jaldi, wear your jacket. Do the zip up. Come, I'll do zip up. Thank you, everyone. We never noticed Show me. that I had a sticker in school now. Show me. Such a cute sticker you got. Why you got the sticker? That's because I don't buy it. It's a stand to zero. Alright. Come on, let's wear the yeah. shoes for But I think it's a little bit sunny also. Yes, a little bit sunny. Sunny. Ah, ah, no, mix 
next time to get it in there become a little bit sunny and and so windy. Oh. So that is why they mix up together. Then after having our breakfast, I took Pearl to our GP to the doctor as she was complaining for stomach pain since last few days. But doctor told it was just a gastric problem. We came back, I prepared lunch and it's 3.30. Yonit is back from school. At times Rakesh goes to pick him up from the school, if he is free of course. Once he is back, it's very difficult to control them. They just play as if they are meeting after ages. It's not that after some time they will start fighting or so, their bond is so perfect, touch wood. Watching them like this is so mesmerizing that I can't even explain my feelings. Anyways, but I have to stop them as first Yonid will take bath and then I serve him a proper meal. Today he is going to eat spinach corn, curd and roti. And nowadays, as I told you initially, Yonid is trying to do all his tasks by his own. And if he is not willing to, then we push him because it's a bit difficult to handle both the kids like this. So it's better to make him ready and he should learn all these stuff now. After having his meal, it's his playtime. I mean, Yonit and Pearl plays together and as I told you, like in the morning too, he was watching number blocks and this time, when he is tired and he don't want to do anything else, he just sits and play with these Lego blocks or so. From these number blocks, Lego blocks, he's making numbers and he had learned a lot regarding numbers or addition, subtraction and developing more interest in numbers. Wow. What, do you need help? Uh, plus five. Oh. You need help? Happy? Thank you. Welcome. Look what Bai is doing. Which number count are you making? No. But I spare an hour for his homeschooling too. In this one hour, we cover Hindi first because I just started teaching him Hindi as I thought it's the right time. Initially, I teach him on Hindi chart paper, reading all, and after that, we practice writing. I brought some tracing Hindi writing books from India itself, and Yonit too is taking a bit interest here. And next, we do either some English or maths worksheets and that too I will share with you all someday. And this one hour of homeschooling is fixed for all the days. Now you might think that what I am feeding him here. So these are the protein bars I made and that too without any sugar and full of protein that is a must for all the kids and especially in winters. So let me show you how I made these healthy protein bars. First I have taken a handful of each, almonds, walnuts, cashews, pistachios, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Now in a pan add one spoon of desi ghee and add 
all the dry fruits and fry them for around 3 to 4 minutes and leave them aside till it cools down. Now here I have taken 3 big size dates and taken out their seeds and here my jaggery water is ready too. Now I'll transfer all the dry fruits in the grinder jar. Now in the same pan I have taken 1 cup oats and roasted it for around 2 to 3 minutes. When done, I'll transfer all the oats too in the grinder jar and grind them all together in a fine coarse powder. And then I will grind the dates and it will come out as a sticky paste. And then I'm going to add this in a dry fruit powder and will also add the jaggery water and mix it well. After mixing nicely, I'll transfer it to a butter paper and form it a shape to make small cubes from it and then leave it in the fridge for around 3 to 4 hours. These are the delicious protein bars that are very healthy for the kids. But as I told you, Yonit is a fuzzy eater. He don't like trying new things. So what I did, I covered this bar with chocolate spread and for initial days, I will give him this chocolate but slowly I will cut it down and we mothers know how to handle these kind of situations. So you do try this recipe for your kids and do tell me if your kids liked it or not. Because he was full, he didn't want to have his dinner. So I make him eat these two protein bars and a glass of milk for dinner. And I think that too is a healthy option. You can give these bars to your kids in breakfast, lunch or dinner or any snacks time. Now it's 8 p.m. and time for bed. It's been a routine that every night we read a story and then sleep, which is a good habit. At times, I read the stories and when the book is familiar for Yonet, he reads the story and he knows what the story is all about, so he narrates it. Here he is doing the same and Pearl is coming too, but she is just a butterfly. Can't stay at one place for long. Within half an hour, he sleeps. So this was Yonet's whole day routine where there is school as well as homeschooling. I hope you liked today's video. Press the like button if it is helpful for you in any ways. And subscribe it if you have not yet done so. So that you can, in the future videos you will get a lot about the kids and so much of entertainment. That's all for today friends. See you in my next one.